Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. I hope you enjoy this video. Let's see what's going to go on today. I have no idea. Um, at this point, I am just doing my intros and my outros. Whatever goes in between <laughs> is whatever it is. So if you enjoy this video, consider giving me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time, but don't because it's going to keep getting better. And hit the bell for notifications. Let's get into it, guys. Hey guys, right, I've got some sales to show you. So we are going to start over here with Rob's sales. This has been probably the quickest sale to date, but I have got another one that was really fast today. So we'll see which one comes in better. I think I know, to be fair, with the price. <laughs> the price says it all. Anyway, um, this is a men's medium wool jacket. It's diesel. It is a high neck. This sold within five minutes of us listing it for £30. So after fees and what we paid, we have made £22 on that. £22, not pence. Um, Triumph t-shirt. This is in a... Let's have a look. Made in China. Double XL. There's the graphic on it. It's very nice. That has gone for £10. So after fees and what we paid, we have made about £4 on that. We have a Leonard Hudson scarf that has gone for six twenty nine. So after fees and what we paid, we have made about three pounds on that. As I said, we're being really ruthless with things at the minute, getting rid of stuff that has hung around for a long time and making space for new stock for the new year. PG Field jumper. We haven't had this long at all. This has gone really quick. Um, fifteen pound for that. So after fees and what we paid, we've made about eleven on that again pounds not pence um i can never say this and this is my writing Peru per peruvian connection <laughs> yes i did it anyway this is a coat um i'm not going to show you it because it's bagged up ready this was 60 pound we got for this so after fees and what we paid we've made about 50 on that um we have a pair of ben sherman boots here these have gone for 14 24 so after fees and what we paid, we have made about £5 on those. Um, we have a blue Lacoste men's regular fit shirt in a size medium. That has gone for £8.99, so after fees and what we paid, we've made about £3 on that. I have a men's check shirt, champion check shirt, extra large. It's a nice one, that. Um, £8.99 for that one. So, again, after fees, we've made about £2 on that, I think. No, no. We've made about £4 on that. I won't, I won't dumb us down too much. We have a bundle of Brooks Taverner shirts here. Here we go. One, two, three. Um, they are all... What size are they? Triple XL. They've gone for £25. So after fees and what we paid, we've made about £17 on that. And then we have a Spitalfields um, navy blue coat. Um, it's double breasted, like an overcoat. This has gone for £25. So after fees and what we paid, what we paid actually doesn't matter in this case because this was part of the massive bundle of clothes we got in an Orvis bag. Um, which basically paid for everything when we sold that we have made on this 21 pounds happy days so yeah i'm gonna get these parceled in a minute but before i do i need to show you what i've sold let me see if i can find my phone first one second guys here it is <laughs> So as you can see, I've got quite a lot of stuff to parcel up again. We literally went out this morning. We took 46 parcels out. 47 parcels out today. I can't even count. And then all this sold. So basically, we've done today's parcels, like yet what we've sold over the weekend, and a few things that sold this morning. Since then, all of this has sold. So let me get into this. Right, okay. So first of all, this little guy... Isn't he gorgeous? He's beautiful in age, just right up my alley. Um, sounds so wrong. Sold him on Etsy anyway. Um, I've got a sale on on Etsy at the moment. And he has gone for £39.99 plus postage. 
Um, so after fees and what I paid and everything, I've made about £34 on him. He's amazing. <laughs> love him. Absolutely love him. Okay, let's go down to the bottom of my solds. Here we go. Right, so I have this gorgeous Ever After High doll. She's wearing a Barbie dress, just to confuse people. Um, £19 I got for her, which is a really good price. Um, so after fees and everything, I have made four, no, 13 on her. Sorry, I will get it right eventually. Forever Friends teapot. Bit of a dud, to be honest. I got £9 for this. So after everything coming off, I have made about £3.50 on that. Not too bad, but wouldn't rush to buy it again. The Henry Hoover, which um, I actually have a real Henry Hoover to sell as well, which is ours, which I'm going to part out because we've got a brand new Hoover and ours still works, but the tube has broken on it. So I'm going to try and part it out and see what happens with that. But this is a Henry Hoover toy. What um, Lisa got me in my mystery box. So thank you, Lisa. It is actually working. Um, I don't know whether I showed that on film, but I tried it, I tested it. It's all working, it's all nice and clean. Went for £15. So after fees and everything, I have made about £10 on that. This lovely cardigan here has gone to somebody that I follow on Instagram. Um, and it has gone for £10. It's a Poi by Crisia, made in Italy, vintage cardigan. This was part of the huge bundle. I'm still selling them, the ones that Rob got me for dirt cheap. Made my money back over and over again. So after postage and fees, I have made about £6 on that. Let's carry on. Oh, I've chucked that over there and I need to show you it. Christmas tree. Ha <laughs> ha, I've sold my first one of these. Um, I've got two of these, you see. It's like a rope tree that goes outside. £47.50. So after my fees and everything, I have made about £40 on that one. Not to be sniffed at. These lovely etched glasses. One of them is chips. I did put that in the listing. These went really fast within probably 12 hours of me listing them. These have gone for £15. So after fees and everything, I've made about £8 on those. Laura Ashley um, cake forks. These are nice. I need to show you these really. Um, if I can open the box one-handed, here we go. Do, 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 do. Look at those, they're beautiful. Got these from a car boot in the summer time. Um, paid two pound. They have sold for eighteen. So after fees and everything, I have made approximately twelve pounds on those. I have some Amani jeans. My goodness, these don't go for what they used to. I have had these for about 84 years i'm not even joking it's been 84 years they've been in a box and i forgot i had them um 14.25 i got for these so after fees and what i paid and everything i've made about six pound on them yeah not the best um i've got this jacket here actually that i want to show you while we're here this is a chantel jacket in a size large leather jacket my sister-in-law gave me this um it's gone for 15 pound on vintage so that's what I got, £15. Um, this mason jar is the other contender for the fastest selling thing ever on our Ebays. £10 this went for on an offer. It had been listed for five minutes, same as the jumper. Ridiculous. Anyway, after fees and everything, I've made £5.50 on that. I've got this lovely um, shoulder massager which has been knocking around for ages. Um, wouldn't pick these this up in a hurry again. £10 I got for this, so after fees and everything, I've made about £4 on that. Right, guys. Better get these parceled up so we can take them tomorrow. I can't believe how crazy it's going at the minute. And I can guarantee, and I'm not moaning, but I can guarantee that the minute I start parceling these up, more stuff will sell, because that just keeps happening. But like I say, not complaining. It's amazing. And look at this guy. I'm going to miss him, even though he was on a shelf. I mean, look at that nose. Look at that nose. <laughs> yes, I'm going to have fun boxing him up. <laughs> See you in the next bit. So over the last couple of weeks, I have noticed that a lot of people are trying to get partial refunds out of me. And also a lot of people are asking me to reserve items. I can't reserve items. So... If it is anybody that watches on here, I apologise, but 
the problem is I've got to do what's best for my business. If you come to me and say I'm a subscriber, I really like this, will you save it for me? Then I would because I love you guys and I know you won't mess me about. But when people normally come to me and say, I get paid on so and so, will you reserve this? I say, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't reserve things. And you know what? I've been proven right the last couple of times not to do that. I had two different people asking me to reserve two different items. One was a low-end item. One was a high-end item. I said that I couldn't reserve it because basically I don't do that. But I'm sure the item will still be available when they get paid. So if, they do, if, it, if it is, they can come on over and offer me, you know, whatever it is they want to pay. And we can go from there. Both times they didn't come back. Both times I didn't get a message. I didn't sell the item. Um, I don't message the people. I don't bother them. Um, if they want it, they'll come and buy it. That's my, always my thought. And the things that I've got are pretty cool anyway, so they'll go eventually. But it's a weird one, isn't it? This time of year brings out those sort of people. It brings out the people that want you to reserve things for them. It brings out the people that don't pay. It brings out the people that cancel orders. I had another cancellation yesterday, um, believe it or not. I've had quite a few lately. I've had the cancellation of, oh, uh, my, my child ordered this. And I'm like, okay, oldest trick in the book. There's certain eBay language, isn't there, that everybody uses, and that's one of them. My child had my phone and ordered this item. And I know a lot of you say to me that's happened to me before, but I think a lot of people use that as an excuse. And there's also the, um, whoops, that I thought that was mine and I didn't mean to order it. Um, I thought it was an offer coming through on my item. <laughs> now, I can actually say that that was happened to Rob before. He thought an offer had come through on his item, pressed accept offer, and he ended up having, well, he didn't buy it, but he had to message the person and say, I'm really sorry. I thought that was an offer on my item. It was somebody else that had sent him an offer. <laughs> sent him an offer for their item. So it's very confusing. eBay can be a confusing place, but I think sometimes when you're tired, you've had a long day, something like that comes through, it can easily be made as a mistake, can't it? You're buying someone's item by accident or whatever. And I get that. But I do feel like this time of year it happens more. And also the, also the partial refund thing. Wow. I used to partial refund everybody. I used to do it out of fear. <laughs> I was scared. But I was scared because I didn't want negative feedback. And I was worried about upsetting my customers. I keep banging into the door here, guys. It's probably in shot because the GoPro is amazing and shoots everything around you. Um, <laughs> yeah, the partials. I think I have had five attempts at a partial refund. And when I say, um, I'm sorry, um, it's not working, or I'm sorry, this isn't happening, or I'm sorry, you're not satisfied, please send it back, they don't. So they're definitely after a partial. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. It's all part of the business. You, you learn to be shrewd, don't you? And you learn to understand that this sort of thing's going to happen. I get that people are struggling for money at the minute. But for me, it's like if I was struggling for money, I wouldn't be buying a Wii console or I wouldn't be buying a, fit, buying a fitness watch or, you know, just examples. I would be keeping that money for other things. But people try their luck, don't they? But it doesn't always work. Um, and the two things that didn't arrive, I haven't heard anything from either of those. Um, obviously, the case got shut on the Santa. I haven't heard a thing. Um, again, I feel awful about that because I know that person was telling the truth from what they told me. But I've heard nothing from them since. Um, I haven't blocked them either, I will say, because there's no reason for me to. Same with the other person with the hot wires thing. Um, I messaged them all I knew and they've just left it. Now, whether they've maybe thought, oh, it's only £10, I'm just going to leave it. Or maybe they found it. Who knows? But as Rob always says to me, customers don't come and tell you when something starts working or if they find something. They only come to you to complain. They're not going to give you an update. If all is well, then it goes quiet, and that can be a good thing. So try not to worry about it. <laughs> it's one thing I need to learn. I do worry. I do worry a lot. Um, 
I have such a high moral standing that I, in myself, I do want to treat people a certain way and I want to make sure people are treated a certain way and make sure that everything is fair and above board. And sometimes it isn't in this game. It really isn't. But what can you do? you just got to play by the rules, I suppose. As Rob reminds me, buyers pay by the rules and we get stung all the time. It happens all the time. So we should take some wins because, you know, we're due some. What do you think about that, guys? Are you on the same wavelength there? I don't know. eBay can be a fickle beast. Anyway, let's get in to some more of today's video. Right, I need to show you these, guys. Um, so Rob bought me these on an auction on eBay. They were just over £25 for the, all of them, and they are Harrods Bears. They are so nice. I got really excited when I opened the parcel. But look at this. This one's from 2000. It's got a lovely purple coat. Look at that face. I mean, you know, people, somebody somewhere is going to love that face. Same with this one. Aren't they beautiful? This one's from 1999. They're really heavy and really like quality. They feel like expensive bears, which they're going to do, aren't they, when they're from Harrods. 1997. He's got a lovely big bow on him. This one, I love this one. Look how happy he is. What a happy bear he is. <laughs> 2000s. Um, he's a millennium bear. And then we got this one. This one's a little lighter, so it probably won't be worth as much. 1996. But again, he's just a lovely bear. He's got a lovely face. Best time to sell them, I think, now. Coming up to Christmas. What do you think, guys? Do you think Rob's done good? Write yay for yes and nay for no in the comments. I can't wait to list these. I have much fun listing bears and these are just gorgeous. I secretly want to keep a few of them, but I need to get them sold quick before I do that. So yeah, um, you can hear solid tape in the background. Rob is actually wrapping Christmas presents right now. Very exciting. None of it's mine, obviously, but you know, still exciting. <laughs> Hello. I am back from picking up a few items that I have bought to list. So I paid £25 for all of this. Amazing. I'm going to go through it all and, yeah, see roughly what I think I can make. I don't know on a lot of it, but I have got this really, really amazing doll, which I think is the most creepiest doll I've bought up today, and I will show you why in a bit. So yeah, £25 for the lot. So the first thing, I need to check this works, because I don't know. It is a snowing Christmas tree. Sounds like my worst nightmare. It's basically a tree in the bottom of an umbrella, and it blows all of the snow, which is in here, polystyrene balls up over the tree, and probably all over your house, <laughs> which is the thing that really gets me about it. I am gonna get it out and test it, so you'll probably see that on camera. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Somebody somewhere will want it. I mean, it was £40 at some point. Somebody somewhere will want it. I've got this lovely um, modern baby Annabelle doll. She's fully working. She makes all the noises. I won't put her on, so I won't be able to shut her up. Um, I've got some Laura Ashley slip-on shoes, which appear to have not been worn very much. I mean... They've either not worn them or they've left the tag on and worn them. I'm not really sure. But yeah, they're quite nice. Um, some Dune or June, like sandals. Um, I was watching George Ross this morning and he bought some sandals. Some, um, I think they were Dr. Martin sandals. They were the ones that fell apart. He said it was snowing, funnily enough, <laughs> in his living room. Um, and he said, you know, it's always going to be warm somewhere they'll go international and I'm hoping these will I have sold a few pairs of sandals recently so fingers crossed they'll go um I've got a mystery machine all the figures are in there in the top look there they are um don't know how much I'll get for her um I'm thinking maybe 10 to 15 on this doll hopefully 30 on those if they're new Maybe a little bit more. The Christmas tree, probably looking at £20. And Mystery Machine, probably 15 
the dune the dune sand sandals or dune dune sandals i think i'll get 15 for those i've got these lovely sketches these are very y2k i had some very similar in the early 2000s i think man were pink though and i hate pink which is weird but yeah um they should go they're a size seven should get 15 for those I've got these Converse All-Star High Tops with no laces and they are stained. Um, I'm hoping I can get these marks out. I'll put them in the wash and see what happens with them. So I can't really say what I'll get for them right now, but they're in okay condition. They're a bit worn, but nothing major. Um, This gorgeous little trinket box. Look at that. Like a little jewellery box. It's got a ring compartment there. I really like that. I'm hoping I can get 15 for that. I've got these lovely little marble pots. I can't leave marble behind. Every time I find marble, I just want it. So this is a lovely little marble pot with this nice pattern on it. Um, and then I've got these two, like a green marble with brown. Very heavy. And then I've got this one with a lid. It's a very strange lid. Ignore what's inside. All these bits that are inside are off this, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, yeah, hopefully, I reckon there's about £20 worth there. Maybe not. Maybe 15 We'll see. We'll see, won't we? Um, some BT phones, as long as these are working, they're £15 all day long. I think they have an answer phone with them. Yes, they do. Um, yeah, I need to check they're working, but they should be pretty good. They need a clean as well. They are pretty disgusting. I ain't going to lie. I've got these brand new boys next high top trainers in a size infant 10 yeah brand new they should go for about seven eight pound on vintage a little jewelry box we love the jewelry boxes this is a really nice vintage wooden one bit of marking inside but nothing that won't clean up um probably about 10 to 15 on that i have a noah's ark with all the animals inside i need to check it is complete Noah is in there, which is good. Um, probably about 10 to 15 on that. I've got a Zuzu Pets pack. Um, I'm not sure what this one's called. Oh, it's the Hamster House play set. It is brand new sealed. Um, I think I'll get about 15 for that, but we'll see. And then I've got this Nativity set, which I have a sneaking suspicion. This is the Nativity set that was supposed to be in the box that the other one's in so I'll have to check that when I got it this wing was broken and um, I have super glued it back on and it's staying for the time being but yeah um they aren't even supposed to be doing that look they're leaning over the baby and terrorizing it I think that one's falling over <laughs> it's falling over and terrorizing baby Jesus there's some more figures over there um yeah I really like this I'm not sure whether it's complete I need to check it um I don't know whether it's three wise men and the kings. Oh, I don't even know. I'm terrible with stuff like this. Please forgive me. Um, I don't know how much this is worth, but it's cool. I really like it. Um, I'm hoping at least £20 for that. So let me know what you think, guys. £25 for the lot. Would you have picked this up? I need to show you this doll. I haven't showed you it yet, have I? She's amazing. I picked her up because she is obviously vintage. Look at her. She's got her eyes shut on me when she's actually sat up. I don't know how you're going to feel about this. So we'll see. Um, all I'm going to say to you is, if you don't like creepy dolls, maybe fast forward the next bit because I'm going to show you what she does. I need two hands to sort her out. Look, her eyes are open now. <laughs> I need to get her out of the sunlight so you can see her properly. Right, let me wind her up and then I can show you properly. When I bought her, I didn't know she did this. Are you watching? She's moving, look. She's got a wind up mechanism on her back and she's playing the go to sleep song while she's moving her top of her body back and forth. And she shuts her eyes as well, or she did. I might have broken her. Here you go. She moves her head up and down. What do you think, guys? 
too creepy or what. I think she's fabulous. <laughs> I love her. I have no idea how much she is worth. But the fact that she stands up and dances to this music just from winding her up on her back to me is amazing. <laughs> right, that's enough of that now. Say bye bye. <laughs> Let's see if I can get her head working. Here we go. She could shut her eyes. And now she's opening them again. She closes her eyes. I think it's so cute. I know a lot of you are going to be like, Julie, this is creepy. What are you doing? But I love her. I need to just sort her eye out. One of her eyes is winking. Look, she closes her eyes when she moves her head. And then opens them again. I know a lot of you aren't going to find this interesting at all, but I think she's fantastic. I have no idea how much she's worth. I mean, her hair, bless her. She's got like a comb over going on look. Her plaits start down here near her ear rolls. Um, she's got her ribbons in there. Look. Poor girl. Anyway, I think she's fabulous. I think she's beautiful and I'm hoping she will bring me good money. We will see. The proof is in the sales, as I always say. Don't always say that. I do always say it, but not on camera. <laughs> The proof is in the sales. Um, you can buy the stuff. You can say you're going to sell it for whatever. You can list it for whatever. But until you sell it, you've made no money. So the proof is in the sales. So we will see how much this stunner makes me. I may auction her. Do you think she's an auction type piece? I don't know. What is these days? Sometimes you put things on auction and they don't even get a sniff, do they? I try auctions all the time, but they just don't work. I put something on for like two weeks and then I will put it back on to buy it now because <laughs> I get really impatient. But yeah, let me know what you think anyway, guys. Would you have bought her? I didn't even know she did that. I just bought her because she's an old doll. Um, I think I've got some really good stuff here. I think there's good money to be made. Let's see what happens when I get it all listed which I don't know when that's going to be. I've got a massive backlog already. Should not be buying any more stock. But as I keep saying, I do not take my foot off the gas this time of year. I need to keep going. I have got six things to post up to now on my side. And I think Rob has about eight. So there's going to be another huge lot of stuff to take out tomorrow. <laughs> it's where the cookie crumbles. I love it. Really hope you enjoyed that video guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. I hope all your sales are going real well for Q4 and I hope you're all getting sorted for Christmas. Let me know in the comments. Take care, be kind, stay safe. Ta-ta!